for me to say that I needed this 75 hard to get myself to this next level, to be able to stick to a diet, to be able to stick to a workout routine, to be able to stick to these things, as long as I get to where I want to go, I don't care what it was called, whether it's called 75 soft, hard, half hard, in the middle, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to label it, um, this is just the one that I'm going to choose to go all in on. And um, I'm excited about it, I'm scared about it, um, I'm nervous about it, but I think it's going to be, I think looking back a few years from now, looking back, I will see this as one of those, again, defining moments that was a paradigm shift in my life was a paradigm shift in my mind of finding out what I'm truly capable of. So Pablo and I were just sitting here talking through kind of some of the stuff going on in my life, some of the stuff that's upcoming and some of the things that I've been wanting wanting to do, quite frankly, some of the things I haven't been wanting to do and, and we'll kind of get into that. Um, but all has to do um, and kind of encompassing this 75 hard challenge that Andy Frisella has created and launched. And I don't even know if challenge is the right word. I would say more of a movement. And I've been just blown away by by what he's created, um, this movement ripple effect of all these different people going all in on life. And, and to start, I really just want to say that the only reason I have not yet done it, that I have not yet started, uh, probably two things. First is ego. You know, in the beginning I thought, you know, why would I do somebody else's challenge? Like I'll create my own challenge, right? Like, um, you know, that's ridiculous. And number two, my life is so chaotic. There's so many different things going on right now and so much uncertainty, so many different, you know, plates spinning at one time. How could I possibly even try, even if I wanted to? And so I've, I've accomplished getting past the first, which is ego, and realizing that <laughs> it doesn't have to be your own for it to be impactful. And that it's just, quite frankly, ignorant of me not to use a system that I'm seeing work in so many other people's lives. I mean, Sean Whalen, you know, his um, feedback on going through 75 hard uh, has been incredible hearing his story. And he said it was the single hardest thing he's ever done. The single hardest thing he's ever done. He said mentally, physically. Um, but man, he's shredded now and he's in a way different place mentally and, and with his businesses and what he's doing. Uh, it's been inspiring. And so, you know, to say that I'm jumping on the bandwagon kind of feels a little bit cliche and, and, and makes it um, makes, makes light of something that is a serious, serious thing, which is going all in on your life. And, and I feel like there's never going to be a perfect time to start. There's never going to be an ideal time where you can say, okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to, to go all in on this because this that we're talking about is, is life. And every second wasted, every second that you put off uh, to do something like this is a second that you'll never, ever, ever be able to get back. And so Pablo and I were just sitting here having a discussion of what it would look like uh, and how we could document it in the best way to not only be able to show other people, um, to be able to show to people not just the process of doing it because that's been displayed by so many people across the world now, but show people how it's even possible and how you can run at that type of pace in this structure with so much chaos and uncertainty and, and spinning plates as I have right now. Um, I've transitioned my role uh, within our organization of doing a lot of the coaching and training uh, each week. So that means it's putting me in a new state each week, training our coordinators across the country. When I do that, it's chaotic and it's, you know, 32 to 34 hours of work inside a 48 hour period when I'm with those agents. And, you know, quite frankly, just logistically thinking of, well, how am I going to get two workouts in, in a day? I haven't even been able to get one in. Um, it's daunting. 
Um, but I know that the only way that I can go all in is to have that type of, a st of structure for that second piece, which ultimately this documentation will create is accountability. Um, social media for me has always been an accountability tool. It's been an empowerment tool for other people, but for me selfishly, it has been an accountability tool. And I have only, only gotten better the more I've documented because it creates this level of accountability that's unmatched. And so 75 hard in and of itself is an accountability tool, but by documenting the process of going through 75 hard, it'll take it to a whole nother level. And I truly believe it's the only way that I'll be able to make it work. It's the only way that I'll be able to uh, succeed and actually make it 75 days with all the things that we'll discuss here in a second um, and do it and, and stay sane. So what does that look like? So with 75 hard, you got to do a bunch of different things, a couple of which are going to be easy for me. It's no alcohol. Well, I haven't drank in almost two years now, so that'll be easy. Um, gallon of water a day. I do that every day, so that won't be difficult. Um, the big things are the two workouts. So you got to work out twice a day. Uh, it's 45 minutes each. One of them has to be outside. So that adds a very interesting element is that second workout. Um, with the hours that I'm working, it's going to be difficult to fit that in, uh, especially to fit it in outside. And especially as these, now that I'm thinking about it out loud, these 75 days will go through the winter. It's awesome. It's going to be cold, especially some of these areas where I'm going to be training people in the country. Even more fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, getting two of those workouts in a day when quite frankly, I have not been getting one workout uh, a day in every single day. Um, my body is not anywhere close to where it was just six months ago. And I feel like I've gone through this process really my whole life where I've gotten to a certain level with my body. And then for whatever reason, I just drop. And my entire life has been this up and down with my body and with my diet and fitness and health and all of that to where you know, I get a little bit further, like a little bit better than I've ever gotten before. And then boom, one missed workout, one cheat meal leads to like six months later, I'm like, what the heck have I done? Um, so, you know, taking these uh, before and after shots, you're supposed to take a progress picture uh, every single day. So we'll be able to do that. Um, and that's going to be embarrassing because right now I'm not happy with the way my body looks. Um, and it's frustrating, but I know the level of confidence and the level of performance when I'm at my peak and, uh, and I got to get back there. And this, I believe will allow me to do that in 75 days. Um, the other aspect is, is the diet. And so you have to pick a diet and then stick to it. Not a single cheat meal, not a single bite of a cheat meal for 75 days. And the only real diet that I know and that I know has worked very well for me in the past is the ketogenic diet, which means no carbs. And the idea of not eating a carb for 75 days makes me want to cry. <laughs> like real talk, it makes me want to cry like right now um, because that'll be extremely difficult. Um, it's extremely difficult for anyone with any type of schedule, but when you're in and out of airports every week, when you're in hotels, when you're working the crazy hours, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Um, but this will allow and force that accountability, uh, to where I have someone that'll be documenting, you know, what I'm eating that, you know, I can't, I can't cheat it. Uh, that it has to be done. And then let's see, another aspect of it is you got to read, um, 10 pages of a book every day. That shouldn't be a big deal for me. Um, but the majority of the content, the majority of the books that I'm consuming on a daily basis is all audio. And this has to be, you know, an actual, you know, paper book, or I guess, a, I guess you could do some type of, uh, um, what do you call them? Ebook, a book that's not paper, whatever that is, um, on the World Wide webs and the internets. Um, yeah, that's it. So, you know, what Pablo and I were just discussing, uh, is, you know, how we can make this happen and how we can document it. And we're looking at, you know, having him travel with me now, um, 24 seven so that we can make sure that, you know, if it's one thirty in the morning and I got to get that workout in the very next morning before I start work with that new agent in Montana or wherever I am that, Hey, we'll have a video the next morning and it either happened or it didn't. So this will be full transparency, full, full, full transparency. 
and accountability to see if we can make this work. Um, I know it can, and I'd like to say I know it will, but I also know myself and I know the difficulty of which doing that on this type of schedule is going to be. It's going to be very, 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 very difficult and very daunting. Um, along with that, I'm starting a whole new podcast with my wife that I haven't even talked about yet. Um, something been something I've been working on in my mind and now putting actually to paper and uh, getting that started. So we'll probably be able to you know, talk a little bit about that um, through this. But I'm excited. Uh, I'm really excited because this is an opportunity which these type of opportunities never just come about. They never just happen to you. But these type of opportunities to level up in your life um, don't come often. I think this is one of those opportunities where I can, I can take the next 75 days, probably one of the more you know, crazy, chaotic 75 days that I was ever going to embark in anyways, but add this to it. And like I say all the time about balance, and I'm so sick and tired of people using this idea of balance as a crutch to work less, that truly successful people, the one percenters, the half of percenters, that they will only balance through addition, not through subtraction. So if I'm looking to figure out the way to balance my life, it's going to be adding in this layer of accountability. It's going to be in adding in these structures to my life where it's more workouts, it's more focused on the diet, it's more focused on the personal development and growth through reading, it's more focused on all the other areas of my life that will ultimately balance everything out. But again, by addition, not taking away from areas. And for some of you that are listening to this and watching this, you may be saying to yourself, that's crazy. Like, how is he going to balance his life by putting so much more on his plate? I would just tell you to watch um, because we're going to do it. And what I have found in my own life is that when I have been the most busy with the most structure, and that's key, when I've been the most busy with the most structure is when I have gotten even more things done than I thought was possible. Um, I don't know what it is about being busy when it's actual income producing activities and it's structured activities that you know are taking you where you want to go that all of a sudden you find time to do all of these other things. And that's what I'm hoping will happen um, as we embark on this journey with 75 hard. And so we were just kind of talking about some of the logistics of that, what that'll look like. Um, and it's, it's a lot, um, but I am committed to do it. I've been putting this off. Um, because let's, let's be honest, like it's something where if I post today in my Instagram stories that I'm starting 75 hard and two weeks from now, those posts start going away, people are going to ask, Hey man, what happened to your uh, 75 hard? And I'll have to have a reason or better words, an excuse uh, as to why it didn't happen. And for me, that is the accountability that I need. And you know, this whole world of documenting my life on social media through these vlogs and through the podcast, but mainly through the vlogs, um, you know, it's made me a better person already. It's made me a more compassionate person, a more empathetic person, a, a, a kinder person. And I've gotten that feedback from people that say, oh, well, you, you needed to, you know, record every aspect of your life just to become a better person, just to become a nicer person. And yes, I did. And it did work and it did happen. And I'm extremely proud of that. And so for me to say that I needed this 75 hard to get myself to this next level, to be able to stick to a diet, to be able to stick to a workout routine, to be able to stick to these things, as long as I get to where I want to go, I don't care what it was called, whether it's called 75 soft, hard, half hard, in the middle, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to label it, um, this is just the one that I'm going to choose to go all in on. And um, I'm excited about it. I'm scared about it. Um, I'm nervous about it. But I think it's going to be, I think looking back a few years from now, looking back, I will see this as one of those, again, defining moments that was a paradigm shift in my life, was a paradigm shift in my mind of finding out what I'm truly capable of. Uh, I've said it a million times, but I'll keep saying it until it becomes not true, which is never if you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure. And I'll change that within the realms of what we're talking about. If you seek discomfort, you will be rewarded. And I know that this is going to be uncomfortable. I know that there's going to be an insane amount of discomfort with waking up earlier, going to bed even later, and fitting all this stuff in. But I know that I will be rewarded by doing so. And it may not be rewarded financially. It may not be rewarded in how I look or feel. 
it may just be re rewarded in realizing the capacity that I am able to unlock and realizing that, you know, I may be operating out of 40, 50% of my capacity right now. Uh, and I believe that's probably true. It may be even less. And realizing that if I force myself into this structure of accountability, if I force myself into this type of a system to where I'm doing more than I've ever done before on top of everything that I was already doing, that only good can come from that, that only pleasure will come from that, even in the pain, even in the discomfort. So uh, I'm extremely excited to embark on this uh, journey with you guys over the next 75 days. We haven't picked out the start date yet. Um, I feel like as I'm doing this video, the start date should probably be like now, but it's not because uh, I've got some things that I want to line up. I'm going to bring on a new trainer that can come to my house um, and train with me so that I can eliminate that time that it takes to get to the gym and get back and get to the shower and all that. Um, a lot of this will be based on efficiency and how can I create structures in place around this 75 hard to make it work for me. And I think that's what it's all about is making it work for you. Any type of structure, any type of accountability, any type of plan that you're going to put in place, it's making that plan fit your life. It's making that plan fit what's possible within the realm of all things that you have going on. And guys, I have a lot of stuff going on and I have even more stuff going on that you have no idea about. Um, I have been pretty transparent on social media, but not transparent enough. And we're about to get into all that here very in very short order. Um, and that in of itself is uh, pretty nerve wracking because there's other people involved, that my wife's involved, my family will be involved. And um, again, I think that I can only be rewarded and we will only be rewarded by documenting that process. And uh, somebody out there will follow this process and will be impacted and they will be prompted to add in layers of, of accountability, to add in these type structures into their life and to just realize that man, man, people are playing small. So many people are playing life so freaking small. And if we truly realize the gifts that God has given us and the opportunities that God has put in front of us that we feel like we're waiting on, but actually he is waiting on us to actually do something about it. Well, this is me doing something about it um, and taking my life from where I am right now to a level that I don't even know what looks like uh, at this moment, but I'm excited to see what it is. And so um, this is a little bit of a different video than you guys have seen from me because it's just a, literally we were talking and I said, man, just hit record. Let's just record this conversation we were having and just wanted to get this out there and uh, tell you guys what's, what's to come. A lot of it will be in my Instagram story, so make sure that you are following me on Instagram, which is at Tyler Jack Harris. Make sure you are following me there because I put the majority of my effort into my Instagram stories when it comes to documenting what I'm doing throughout the day, every single day. So I uh, highly encourage that. And uh, for those of you that haven't seen 75 Hard or you know what I'm talking about, if you just put in the hashtag 75 Hard, you'll see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people um, that are going through this process as well. And uh, my hat's off to every single person that has even attempted uh, to do it because I know it's not easy. I know it's uncomfortable, but I know there will be a great reward on the other side. So with that, guys, be on the lookout. We're going to have some more intense content coming to you in a, the most transparent way with full accountability and probably vulnerability that you'll ever, ever see.